Steve Johnson as he has. Disciple makers, these two are, right? Yeah. yeah. Amen. Great commission, right? Yeah. yeah. I've been to many churches, but never seen the discipleship happen. Yeah. Come on. Turn yeah. preachers, turn to disciples to go and minister. So thank you. Yeah. Thanks for letting me speak. Look at your neighbor and say, Pastor only gave you 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's hard for me. I'm a salesman by trade. Most yeah. of you know that. Yeah. I don't know if what it is, but we like to talk. <laughs> um, tonight I want to uh, talk about I want uh, another encouraging. I want to encourage um, and I want to talk about something that Jesus talked about more than faith and prayer. And uh, God has laid it on my heart. I tried to run from it a little bit. I think it's important and I want to feed the body tonight if I can Amen. Yes. Um, and uh, to be more specifically on our faithfulness I want to be more specifically on money awesome mm, good. Let's talk about and it. Uh, we're going to talk about money yeah. so if I was to title it I'd say pay up sucker yeah. <laughs> 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 or in my church language, I'd say, pay up, buttercup. <laughs> There's a false teaching that has moved its way among many false teachings. There's a false teaching that's going around in the church of Jesus Christ today. That devil, yeah. he's going to deceive us. Come on. He, and he's trying to attack us on so many levels from yeah. health. Come on. And if he can get our finances... Yeah. Then he can get us all messed up. Oh, yeah. Come on, try. Because you can't pray right. Yeah. You can't minister right yeah. if you're worried about the wolf. Come yeah, on. that's right. Come on. Come on. Right. There's a false teaching that has just made me sick to my stomach that says tithing is for the Old Testament. Yeah. Yeah. That that's not Come on. today's word. Come on. And I want to just shut that down real quick for the people in here. If you've yeah. ever heard that preached. I want to ask you, and I'm going to reference two scriptures, but I'm going to go to this one. I've been trying to, uh, to debate which way to go, and I'm going to also, this is awesome, I'm going to give you a prophetic word tonight. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. We'll wait for that bash, and I can do it five. <laughs> All right? You can do it. Matthew 23, 23. That's where we're going to go first. Matthew chapter 23. Verse 23. That's an easy one to remember. This is a, a good part of it. And, and I'm in the King James Bible and it's all red. Uh, Jesus is on the pulpit and he's preaching. And he's saying, woe to all you scribes and Pharisees. Mm. I think I counted seven woes in a row. Mm. And we all know when Jesus says woe, it's bad. It's bad. Yeah. Yeah. And 23, here's what I think. When, 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 and I've been, I've had people say to me, well, you know, tithing is Old Testament. Mm -hmm. And I've used this scripture because the Lord showed it to me. Because, and I'm going to, I'm going to go quick because I'm going to give you some personal applications of what, what happened here. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites, for you pay tithe of mint and anais and cumin and have admitted weight, uh, weightier matters of the law, judgment, mercy, and faith. These ought ye to have done and not to leave the other undone. Yeah. Right. Come on. Right. Come he on. He said, you're perfect. Come on. You do all the religious things. You even pay your tithe. Come on. Which is required. Right. And, but you don't love and you don't have mercy and you don't show grace. So he, all he was saying here is, uh, when I wrote down, Jesus is condemning them for tithing right to the penny, but no, but they were neglecting those more important things. Then he goes on to tell them they should in fact tithe 
but they shouldn't neglect the more important things. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I'm not I'm not one that is going to sit here and say tithing is a salvation thing. Yeah, right, right. I know that. Um, there's a curse on this world, and there's a curse on uh, finance, yeah. finances. Sure. There's a yeah. curse on health. Sure. There's a curse. There's, we live in a cursed creation. Come on. And, but God has given us, we all know, a release from those curse. If we Amen. have faith, we will believe. Amen. Yeah. And we will overcome. We can overcome health and finances. And we're going to attack Amen. finances today. And I'm going to tell you, I learned this. I learned how to tithe and then not tithe and then tithe and then not yeah, tithe. Come on. Come on. If I had it, I'd pay it. Yeah, come on. It. And then I would think I was doing good when I would make an offering. Like, well, I put, put something in the offering plate this week. But my tithe was unpaid. Yeah. So I was all mixed up on it. And I finally, I was tired. I came from poverty. I mean, like many of us have. I came from poverty. I burned our clothes to stay warm. We had cold water. We had canned food. I ate cheese and peanut butter and for years. And I, I dropped out of high school. I was told that you're going to be nothing. You'll never amount to anything. You'll be in prison before you're 18. I was spoken all that stuff. And when I got saved... I had never made, I don't think, $10,000 in a year in my life, and I was 26 years old. Come on. And this is not my notes. I'm going for my heart here because right. the first year I was saved in 1997, by 1998, the Lord had doubled my income because he gift. I don't know what happened, but my life got straight. I started working as I worked unto the Lord, but I grasped tithing. Mm -hmm. I grasp that the 10%. Let's go to Malachi. Yeah. Here's what he said. That we all know Malachi. You know, right. it's, 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 the, it's the verse we all refer to when it's... But you know what? I grabbed it. Come just on. as much as I grab. If you believe on the Lord Jesus, you shall be saved. Come on. I believe this verse just as much as I believe that. And here's... I'm going to read uh, chapter 3, 6 through 9 first. For I am the Lord, I change not. Come on. He's not changing. Right. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not cons consumed. Even from the days of your fathers, you have gone away from my ordinances, and I have not kept them. Return unto me, and I will return unto you, saith the Lord of hosts. But ye said, where have we, where have we gone wrong, Lord? I, I, I go to church every week. I, I, I pray. I I read my Bible, I'm in uh, MPIP, I go down to the missions, I go over here, I do this, I'm a good husband, I don't drink, I don't do drugs, I do... right? Mm -hmm. And he said, will a man rob God? Mm -hmm. Yet you have robbed me. Mm -hmm. But you say, where have we robbed thee? And he said, in tithes and offerings. Mm -hmm. Come on. Ye are cursed with a curse, for ye have robbed me, even this whole nation. And I'm going to stop there. That hit us. Here's where I want to go with it. If, if, if there's anybody, I know God's put this on my heart, because church, God wants to bless his people financially. Right. Come on. Because when you have, and it's a heart thing. Absolutely. When you can give your income, and when you can give a tenth of your income, you're not doing it in the flesh. You're doing it because your heart is with God, and it doesn't matter. You're giving a tenth when it hurts because yes. you don't care. Right. Yeah. Because God is your provider. Right. It's a heart thing. Right. Man. And he's saying, God, he doesn't need the money. Right. He needs the heart. Yeah. That's right. right. Yeah. That's right. Show me your money. You know, Martin Luther said it. There's three conversions that need to happen. First, the mind. Second, the heart. And third, the pocketbook. Martin Luther King, now, he knew. When you get those three conversions made, look out. Yeah. That's okay. right. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you, God has taken me for a ride that I never, ever dreamed. And I... 
uh, tithe when it hurt, and then you start offering over above and beyond that. I just want to challenge today and let you know, and I know I don't have a lot of time. This could, I could go an hour on this. God wants his people blessed. Yeah. Come, on. Come on. Dare to believe. Yeah. If he's challenging you, yes, God can bring bonuses. Yes, God can bring raises. Yes, God can do it. But I really believe that if you will dare to believe and walk in faith, and if there's a business venture that you're, you think you need to go after, or if you have something in your heart that says, I'm better than this, I can do better than this. If you have something that says in your heart, I should go back to school, I should try this, I, that's God. Yeah. Yeah. Listen to it, entertain it one time and step out in faith yeah, and say, on, God, I on. think that's you. If yeah. I'd have shared come the story on. of what I did, people would look at me and say I was crazy. They would think that I'm crazy with what I did. And I said, God, you're leading me. I'm going to follow you. And that's another testimony. Young people in here, 10%. You got 10 donuts? Can I have one? Come on. That would works. you share? Come on. If you had 10 cupcakes, would you give me one? Would you give God one? Yeah. If you get, you know, that's what it comes down to. And as you're faithful for those little, he'll give us more. Amen. You know, uh, <coughs> wealth is a gift from God to be used in his service. And that's why he wants to bless us. Because here's the thing, and, and uh, it was taught in the New Testament that if, if, if you're blessed, that means you have finances above and beyond your need. I do, if I do, or if you do. And I see a need in the church or in the body of Christ, and I don't fulfill it, yeah. then what love do I have? Right, come on. Right. Come on. God knows that when he can, has your heart, he has your obedience, your faithfulness to tear test him and to, and to get faithful with the, with the simple things, tithings and the offerings, and understand that God is yours, it's not mine. And God, when you bless me in abundance, I'm going to sow. Because then I know it's just one less thing. Right. right. And the devil wants us worried about finances all the time. Come on. God's saying, no, I can deliver you. i got the secret. You, yeah, you're under a curse. Yeah. But dare believe. Yeah. Dare believe me and try me and test me in this. Amen. 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 And I'm going to close with a, a prophetic word. And here you have it. Verse 10. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse that there may be meat in my house. And prove to me now herewith, saith the Lord of hosts, if I will not open the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing that there shall not be room enough to yeah, receive it. Amen. Amen. Awesome. And that is That's the truth. The truth. Yeah. You won't you just you won't have time. Whether and, and um for money, so if you if you if you're struggling, and I've been there, but I've learned now that I will sell all that I have if it means to make my ten percent or to give to the body of Christ. If God said, when He knows He we have He has that heart of man, you men, the providers, the leaders of your family. You want a financial blessing you can't hardly contain? You want money just not to be a problem anymore? Understand God's law. Listen to what he says. Trust him in it. And I'm not saying, and I got to go, treat him like a slot machine like I used to. Yeah. Mm, good. <laughs> you know, or well, I pay, I'm going to pay my tithe. And we went through it where I'd kick and scream. Well, I don't like it. I gotta pay it. I was getting better. At least I was paying it, but I was <laughs> complaining. And I still wasn't blessed. And I stopped complaining and said, God, you have it all. So that's our word. And uh, and I just want to close in prayer and pray that those chains be broken too. If yes. there's anybody in financial yes. stress, this is real deal stuff. We can laugh. And we can joke and we can carry on, but we're going to preach a word. Yeah. And this church is going to deliver an anointed yes. word. And he wants your, his people out of bondage. Yes, amen. He wants you blessed among all nations. He wants people to look and say, God's on him. On. 
and not for his works, but because his heart yeah. is right. Amen. And God, you hear those yes. words. And Lord, I know they're from you. Yes. And Father, you released me yes, Father. Thank you, Jesus. from that bondage yes, of poverty. Yes, and I right now you, bind up any poverty yes, that's Lord. in this place. Yes, Father. Lord, I pray for your anointed Thank word you, to reach the yes. hearts of your people. Not because, God, you need money, because you want hearts yes. of men. Amen. And Lord, you use money over 500 yes, different times, 2,000 different verses. And, Lord, we know it's serious business. And, God, I just pray for everyone in this room, the young people, the old, the, and all alike, Father, that if they're struggling with the tithe, that they would just stretch out, trust, and let you do the work. And, Father, we praise you. I thank you, and I release that blessing now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.